When radio was the king of entertainment in the 1920s to 50s in the US, there was a dearth of popular shows. It wasn't all just music and news. Maybe one of the more famous examples, if entirely fictional and modern, are the adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood from Fallout 3. You're listening to the adventures of me, Herbert Daring Dashwood, and my stalwart ghoul manservant, Argyle. Today's episode, Escape from Paradise Falls. So little faith, boss. I could disarm this slaver junk with my eyes closed. One second. There, now for yours. Stand still. Back in the day, though, Sherlock was really popular, starring Basil Rathbone and Nigel Bruce. I think the best story about one of these shows comes in 1938, though, when War of the Worlds was first broadcast and everyone actually thought aliens were invading Earth. We now return you to Carl Phillips at Grover's Mill. Ladies and gentlemen, my on. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, here I am, back of a stone wall that joins Mr. Wilma's garden. From here, I get a sweep of the whole scene. I'll give you every detail as long as I can talk and as long as I can see. The more state police have arrived. They're drawing up a cordon in front of the pit. About 30 of them. Now, there's some historians who are getting too tied up in silly little things like facts and evidence who say that actually people knew it wasn't real. But hey, why bother with that when we can all live in this cool fantasy world, right? These audio narratives were called radio plays, and they were the bee's knees way back when. Now we have podcasts that follow in the same kind of vein. Welcome to Night Vale, anyone? But the traditional radio play has been dead for about 50 years. Or has it? No, of course not. You've likely already read the title of this video. Late in the 20th century, 1998, Konami was working alongside longtime Metal Gear military advisor Motsuda Mori and released a radio drama simply called Metal Gear Solid. Radio plays were, and to some degree still are, relatively big in Japan, as evidenced by the fact that this thing exists at all in a time before podcasts, but also because the entire cast of Metal Gear Solid 1 came back to reprise their roles. Despite its name, it actually wasn't an adaptation of the game, but a series of three volumes of original content. You see, Mori was interested in becoming a writer, so he wrote these three volumes of a radio play to get into the business, so to speak, and he used the Metal Gear franchise because, hey, that's what he was working on and it was popular, why not? Wanting to become a writer, he came up with his own plots, three of them actually, all loosely connected and featuring some kind of tie-in with Metal Gear. Now, Mori ended up writing several books based around combat and CQC and other military stuff. It was actually hard to find this, because his author's page on Amazon spelled his name wrong. None of his books were translated outside of Japan, presumably because they're really of only interest to scholars in Japan, but apparently he never wrote fiction again, which makes the whole thing rather odd. Also, he wrote this book, which, according to Google Translate, the title is in Vietnamese, and appears to be about torturing people if the cover is anything to go by. But now I'm just getting bogged down in my own weird personal interests. As far as I can ascertain, Kojima himself had nothing to do with the series. In fact, I can't even find any evidence of him mentioning it, so I guess he didn't like it, but that's just speculation on my part. Since I'm willing to bet that at least 99% of you have never heard of this before, you can correctly assume that the series was never released outside Japan. There are a few translated scripts floating around, but I can't seem to find any fan dubs of the series at all. Please, someone in the comments, tell me how wrong I am. It's a good thing, however, then, that I went ahead and did that. God damn, it's cold. I swear I'm gonna freeze to death out here. Don't like the cold. I grew up in Hawaii. It's always summer there. The only thing I hate more than the cold is having to deal with my dad. How could you ever call this place a desert? A desert isn't hot all the time. We're a good thousand feet or so above sea level. The temperature difference between day and night here is over a hundred degrees. Why are you so comfortable anyway? I live in Alaska. This is what I call summer. All right, enough chit-chat. You should pay more attention to your surroundings. What do you expect in this weather? Damn it, I can't take it anymore. I could be here all day talking about forgotten aspects of Metal Gear, but 
I've already done that. You can see it here. <laughs> hey, I might as well plug my other stuff while I've got your attention, right? The series features the sterling voices of Kristen Mass, again, apologies, Stig Sentongen, <sighs> Yui Hizaishi, Jimmy Cooper, Terrence Nicholson, and Cliff Thompson as Snake, as well as many, many more. Like myself, I play a few small roles. If you listen close enough, you can even hear the overwhelming sense of dread in my voice that I was going to ruin the whole thing. Speaking of Yui, she's also a musician as well as a voice actor, and did I mention I commissioned a custom song from her? You heard it briefly in the teaser trailer, which I know you all watched. But you can hear the full song in the series, and I believe she's posting it on her channel as well, which I'll put a link to in the description. It really is a good song, like really. I'm not even saying that just because, you know, it, it, it really is a good song. You might have also heard the voice of popular YouTuber Yong Ye in that last clip. So there you have it, folks. A piece of Metal Gear history that time had once forgotten, now dragged up to the surface by me and my excellent voice cast. You can check out the series starting tomorrow, with a brand new episode every Friday on YouTube for the subtitled version, or on SoundCloud and iTunes just for the podcast audio. Still working on an 8-track and cassette version, but more news on that in the future. Now here's hoping Konami doesn't force me to take the series down like they did with that Metal Gear NES remake, or that Metal Gear Philosophy series. Or that Damn it. I was just about to talk about the brand new fourth volume I wrote myself too.